Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with white gazpacho. That's right, gazpacho made without tomatoes. And I know, it's not exactly white, it's kind of light green. But you know what? Light green gazpacho doesn't sound as cool. Regardless, it is super delicious and the perfect summer first course. So here we go. The only thing you have to do ahead of time is cook some leeks. So I'm gonna put about a cup of chopped leeks into a saucepan with a little bit of vegetable oil on medium heat, maybe even medium low with a pinch of salt. And we're gonna cook those for about 10, 15 minutes until soft. Do not brown them, you just want them to soften. Now one reason my white gazpacho is a little light green is because I did use some of the green parts and you're really supposed to only use the white. But I don't mind the color and I like the flavor so I used a little bit of the green. All right, once those are done, just put them on a plate and let them cool completely. This needs to be totally cool before it's added to the other ingredients. All right, so that's done. We're gonna set that aside and it's on to the rest of the ingredients. First of which is a couple English cucumbers, which I'm certainly gonna peel again. We want this to be as light as white as possible. All right, once those are peeled, just chop them up. This is all going in the blender. No need to seed them. So we're gonna throw those in the blender. And then we're gonna add some green seedless grapes. And those are gonna add a nice, subtle sweetness that really kind of makes this. All right, so a handful of green grapes. I'm also gonna throw in some blanched almonds. I want those little slivered kinds. I don't want any of those dark specks from the almond skin messing up the unbearable lightness of my soup. All right, we're also gonna add some olive oil, a big pinch of salt, we'll adjust that later. And then for a little creamy tanginess, some creme fraiche. You can use yogurt, you can use sour cream. So I'm gonna throw that in. And then just like a traditional gazpacho, we want some bread. No crust, just crumble the inside of an Italian or French loaf of bread. I have about a cup. And this is not a thick soup, but that will give it a little bit of body. So we're gonna toss that in. And then another traditional gazpacho ingredient, a little sherry vinegar. I'm sure you could use just about any vinegar you want. You can also use lemon juice, but you do need some acidity to balance the flavors. And at that point, we can add our cooled leeks. And last but not least, a little bit of cold water. Better to start out with not enough. You can always add a little more, but this is not really something you can reduce. And after we add the water, we're gonna go over to the blender and we're gonna process this until completely, completely smooth. So I let that blend for about a minute. And then because we want this to have a very extra fine, smooth texture, we are gonna pass it through a fine mesh strainer that's gonna get out any chunks, whether it's pieces of almond or grape skins or cucumber seeds or whatever. So you wanna pass that through. And you can see there, after you strain it, you're gonna have the most beautiful, luxurious texture and pretty awesome looking. Like I said, not white, but very light. Good enough for me. All right, we're gonna wrap that and refrigerate it completely before we season it. Because you're gonna serve this ice cold, you don't wanna season it until it's ice cold. All right, so we're gonna wrap that up and we're gonna refrigerate this. So a couple hours in the fridge, I pull it back out, then we're gonna taste, then we're gonna adjust. It's probably gonna need more salt, mine certainly did. If you undersalt this, it's not gonna be any good. All right, I'm gonna put a little touch of spice with some cayenne, you could also use white pepper. And then you see me adjusting there with a little more vinegar, a few more drops. I thought it just needed a little extra bit of sharpness. And to save time, let me answer that question right now. Can you put other stuff in here instead of the stuff I put in? No, no you can't. All right, one final tasting, and I've decided it's perfect. So at this point, you're fine to serve it as long as it's ice cold, although one optional step I love is freezing a little bit of it is ice cubes. Again, I can't stress enough, this is unbelievably delicious as long as it's super, super, super cold. So what I'll do is I'll freeze some ice cubes, I'll put that in the cup, I'll top it with the already ice cold chilled soup, and then you're not gonna have to worry about if it's cold enough, it will be cold enough. And then for final garnishing, I'm gonna add some thinly sliced grapes, so pretty. I had some sliced almonds around, and I know I didn't use these inside, but don't get all technical on me. It still makes a beautiful garnish. And then one last touch, I'm gonna put a few drops of dill oil on top because that will taste good and look awesome. And how did I make that? It's so easy. I'll explain on the blog post. And then maybe just a little touch of fresh dill just to warn people what the oil is. And that is done. White gazpacho. If you hablo the espanol, you could call it gazpacho blanco. And you know, I'm no big fan of pretty food, but this really does look beautiful and taste just as lovely. Just super light, refreshing, definitely savory, but has that little bit of sweetness from the grapes. Just a beautiful, beautiful hot weather first course. And again, the keys, you must season it carefully and serve it as ice, ice, ice cold as possible. And if you do that, you're in for a huge treat. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. 
And as always, enjoy! Enjoy!